Well, some of the best lessons that students can learn are outside the walls of a classroom or a lecture hall. And a group of students from UB got a unique experience working with companies to help them go green and save a lot of money. Two on your side's Heather Lee has more on their environmentally friendly ideas that were adopted by some big local businesses. At Triad Recycling and Energy in Tonawanda, they take garbage destined for the dump and turn it into something useful. We look at things that everybody else has given up on and we try to develop a market for it. It might take grinding, shredding. We look at each material and say, how can we do something with this rather than send it to landfill? The business also runs entirely on wind power. Extra electricity goes back into the power grid and employees ride bikes around the property instead of driving vehicles. So you can imagine the challenge for UB students when their assignment was to develop a plan to make this business even more environmentally friendly. It was actually quite a challenge for the students to work with them because their carbon footprint is already really low. The company's trucks run on natural gas, which is cleaner than diesel, but idling still wastes fuel. Their solution? Turn off the trucks to save gas and the environment. I know that sounds like a no brainer, but it is saving the company a ton of money. We were able to reduce the amount of gas or diesel we're burning and we saved $1,500 last, uh, I think it was in May. Just that alone could save us $25,000 a year. Students also worked with National Grid and reduced their carbon footprint by turning down the thermostat at their Buffalo building. Again, a simple idea, but one with a big impact. Over 900,000 pounds of carbon this year, and that's the equivalent of taking 90 cars off of the roads of western New York for a year. UB senior Todd Glosser is now interning at Triad and is currently developing ways to use waste left behind after laundry detergent pods are made. And underwater it kind of melts and it becomes more like a glue like substance rather than a plastic. This former Brownfield site is a unique classroom where students like Glosser are learning the way that you simply can't in a lecture hall. It's super rewarding knowing that I'm actually making a difference and something that started out as a small class project has turn into helping the environment, building my resume, giving me um, great opportunities to work within a company.